welcome to the Nitschke podcast today. Very exciting. Evan Lee from Before You Bid. Evan, welcome. Thanks for your time today. No worries. Thanks for having me. It's been a long time coming and it's exciting that it's finally here. Absolutely. We've talked about doing a pod together for a while and appreciate it. I know how busy you are. We're, we're the same. But uh, Before You Bid is an awesome tool that um, we've been on board with now for a little while and uh, very grateful for all the support. Uh, and to give you a massive plug to start off with, you'd have to be one of the most uh, supportive, helpful BDM type role figures that we've um, had. You know, like you, you've answered support queries at all hours. Yeah. <laughs> you must have a very understanding family and um, you're clearly very committed to what you do. So thank you for, for the support. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. So before you bid, what tell, tell our audience, what, what's it all about? Yeah. So um, before you bid, basically we're a, a marketplace for due diligence, helping arrange building and pest inspections and sharing that cost between buyers and vendors so that uh, yeah, you can get all the information available for the property early and split that cost rather than multiple reports, multiple inspectors and hundreds of dollars split between everyone. It's perfect. Yeah. And really like it's a great intermediary for that, isn't it? Like I think, um, you know, building pest inspections have obviously been around for a long time. Yeah. Um, where did the idea for Before You Bid come about in terms of the actual software? Yeah, about seven or so years ago, our CEO, Reese, um, yeah. he was having a conversation with one of his industry friends, um, Peter Starr of Star Partners at the time, and Peter was a bit flustered. He had a really successful campaign, um, and he was heading out to the property for the 12th time for a 12th separate um, building and pest inspection. So it's a bit frustrated with that. A lot of time gone into it. Um, so then the idea was, well, why isn't there one report done and, and shared amongst people? So that's pretty much the, where it was born from that moment on. And the rest is history. Yeah. yeah. And was that, so Star Partners, is that obviously East Coast? Yeah, New South Wales. So they've been operating in New South Wales for six or seven years, um, whereas in SA we've just launched in September basically last year so still new ish but uh, like you said you jumped on really early so appreciate your support and um, yeah it's been a great partnership so far couldn't agree more couldn't agree more so like uh, you know if you consider a building report it's often such a source of friction in the industry or can be yeah. and I know like we were chatting off camera off podcast about just like I was reflecting on my journey as an agent and I remember early in my career like um, it was almost a, an us versus them mentality with building inspectors and yeah. we clearly don't operate like that now. I know there are some still in the industry that think that way, but I think what Before Your Bid's been really successful at doing is you've really unified the whole process to make it people understand that, look, we can all work together. It's, yeah. it's the same house at the end of the day. Um, what are some of the wins that you're seeing clients have with Before Your Bid and why is it, why is it working so well? Um, there's a few different wins, obviously a few different customer groups from us, yeah. from a vendor perspective. If, if you guys as agents utilize this to have a report done upfront as early in the campaign as possible, you can be aware of issues that the property may have that the vendor may be unaware of. You know, everyone's house proud and they've got a perfect place, um, but there could be some niggling issues that then could be fixed um, rather than being unknown offer an acceptance and price chipping by purchases at the back end because of a problem they, they may not have realized and it could have been a small problem that then becomes a very expensive one at the back end of a campaign. Um, from agents perspective, it gives you guys information from purchases, purchasing a report, who's actually interested in the property um, and you can bring more buyers into the fold. We've had some arranging from a couple people buying it all the way up to 12 purchases um, biting at a report in South Australia was the most successful campaign. So that just gives an example, if we were to use um, West Terrace, Strathalbyn of you as an example, five people bought the report um, and for that, one was an investor, four were owner occupiers. You've got a bit of information and, and transparency around who's interested in the property. And uh, the eventual successful purchase of that house was the last person to buy the report. So all the way down to the end of obviously the highest offer that, that came through. They, they were able to transact quickly and comfortably with transparency through accessing a more affordable report. So true. There's some really important words that you use there, like um, the first one being transparency. I, I think that's one of the best parts of the Before You Bid system. Yeah. So for us, uh, and, and I really hope that I know our audience is various. Obviously, we have a lot of great clients that will tune in, other agents, competitors as well. I really hope they look at it and go, gee, 
should reach out to Evan. He's been ringing me for a while. I should actually <laughs> return the call. We'll have a meeting. He seems yeah. like a nice guy. Um, but like before you bid, like it saves a lot of time and, and it does have that transparency. So yeah. we've talked about it in previous podcasts, um, even well before our relationship with Before You Bid, that getting a pre-sale building inspection is a wonderful thing to do if you're preparing a property for sale. Yeah. Um, obviously, as you quite rightly say, it helps the owner to know, okay, there's some uh, unknown issues that we need to address. Yeah. We always say to our clients that those issues are going to be there regardless. Like the health of the house is what it is. Yeah. Let's not leave it to, you know, roulette later, yeah, get yeah. a great offer and then unravel in cooling off. Um, you know, let's try and deal with it early. But so there's that aspect of transparency for an owner. But then, as you say, like with a campaign in West Terrace where um, those those owners, wonderful uh, family we're working with, um, the home was presented beautifully. They had the foresight, you know, with some advice to get that report done. And it meant then the buyers, you know, there was a lot of competition, but then they've got a report that they can access affordably because it's a shared cost model, um, get the transparency of the lay of the land, so to speak, of what the property has and doesn't have, and then shape their offer accordingly. Um, what would you say to a buyer, like if they hear about this, because obviously it's a new concept and they see, okay, it's transparent and all the rest of it, but I want to get an independent report like what, what i don't want the owner's report i want to get someone independently what what would you say to that like is there anything they should be concerned about uh well no firstly obviously we are a marketplace we have a range of inspectors we are not an inspector company we don't employ inspectors um and that's something that continues to grow state by state so there's a selection of fully independent fully insured inspectors on the panel it is an independent report it's it's um Part of it's paid for by the vendor to commission the report, but they have no influence. Likewise, agents and vendors don't have influence over the inspector um, and their insurance and indemnities obviously cover them to do a proper full report on the property. Yeah. So yeah, from a buyer perspective, it gives it lowers that barrier of entry to have a look at a report and have faith and trust that the property is, you know, worth a purchase. Yeah. And um, yeah, they're not only paying for the report in full, if they're the successful purchase of the property so there's little risk small upfront cost and then they can either register to bid or put an offer in accordingly yeah perfect and i think uh that's a really good point and i think as well uh, through the 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 portal i I guess is the right word when they so the way we do it in our agencies you know is we've got a button on every listing that you can click through which takes you to the before you bid portal Um, i don't know if i'm using the right word but it's the before you bid place yes (laughs) very easy to use and they pop in obviously their details um yes they're then purchasing um the report at that time or uh, the right to to obviously view it um but during that process um it's, it's like they've engaged the inspector meaning that they can still pick up the phone and ring the inspector too and yeah. like it, it's it's a really efficient way of like the report's already done but you're now the inspectors like I'm talking as the buyer you're you're the client now of that inspector yeah that's right so when they follow the link either on your website QR code at the open or however they come across that there's a report available it's pretty straightforward punching in their details but it's clear um, in this instance David Holtham from Adelaide Hills Building and Pest Inspection has done a report on the 15th of June um, and they can access that report for X dollars um, and you're engaging with said inspector and they agree to the inspector's terms and conditions. Likewise, the inspector agrees anyone who purchases the report, um, regardless if they're the successful purchaser, are open to um, have a conversation about the report. Because at the end of the day, the reports themselves, no matter how detailed they are, it's all about the delivery and like for like properties, same age, same location. There's issues, yes, but it may not be like, oh, it's a knockdown, I shouldn't buy this. It's very common for a property in Strathalbyn to you know, have these issues or very common for a 1930s bungalow in Unley to have salt damp. It's not the end of the world. Here's the treatment options and it's not going to be very expensive to fix. So it really is about that delivery. And this platform gives people that transparency and they can trust that they've got the open nature with the inspectors to discuss it further love it yeah we've, we've actually got a campaign i haven't mentioned this to you but we've had a, a, a vendor report done and it's about to go live very shortly where the property um is in really poor health and we've still gone ahead and done it like there's literally visible um you know uh, damp issues from the main bathroom the property's empty um there is some cracking evident like you can see that it, it needs work yeah. uh we wanted to have a document that purchases because clearly every buyer is going to be interested but then go well i need to get a building inspection so it makes a lot of sense to me let's get one done now 
and then have all the issues outlined and yeah. then they can talk to the inspector about it or they might choose to then instead of getting a building report done they'll go well i might just get a bathroom specialist to have a look at it before i offer or something quite specific yeah. so it ends up kind of narrowing the buyer's focus yeah and the other thing that i really like about before you bid and this pod's not meant to be a, a commercial <laughs> but we are fans of the of the, the the system but um what i like about it is um you know that that essentially um you know buyers can can access it so quickly and easily that that's the key thing so there it's it's not something that they have to chase it's there at their fingertips at yeah. any time and then for me as an agent if i'm running a campaign and like if we use that property in Strathalbyn as an example you know where we have a really well attended open home 40 plus groups through lots of people saying the right things but then you go back to that you know four or five that bought the report they're clearly the ones that are showing the, the depth of interest and um, up, up, there's going to be a bit of stickiness to them as a buyer. And as yeah. the market starts to shift and we were talking about it off camera, you know, we've had a really red hot market for a while. That's not going to go on forever. Um, that sort of information is really important to know as an agent. Yeah. So again, from an agent perspective, you're already aware of this. There's different links we have with different CRMs, but the insights that we deliver allow you to hone in who um, the potential purchase is likely to be across our national platform. 80% of the time we capture a successful buyer who's bought a report. So you can sort of take peace that if someone's bought a report, there's an 80% chance that they're going to go on to be the successful buyer. And like you say, that they can transact or put an offer in on the day. So it could be late in the campaign, you've already got an offer or, um, and it removes that stress of a buyer to go, love the house, there might be issues, I'll put an offer in, it's been accepted. I've got two days calling off. Oh gosh, I've got to go find an inspector. Who do I trust? Who's available? Is there time? Are you available as an agent to open it? Um, it's a very highly stressful end process versus having one available up front. Um, they can make that decision in a much more carefree sort of way and considered approach to reading that report. Awesome. Yeah, well, it's certainly something that uh, clearly we're fans of, we hope, and, and don't even need a hope. I'm, I know it's going to get more and more momentum in South Australia, which is great for the industry. It's great for ultimately the end consumer, you yeah. know, buyers, sellers watching this. Uh, it, it's going to make it a, a more enjoyable experience to buy real estate. And Definitely. if that's <laughs> if that's the end goal, that for us with our business, with how we operate, that means the world. So fantastic work that you guys are doing any other yes. comments you wanted to make in closing around before you bid evan and what what the future might look like for before you bid even with some yeah of who knows on the pipeline. future it's come quite a long way in in seven Rapid years growth. and um yeah the last seven months is even more so being a national company so um, exciting things and as i say the insights and the integrations that we've got i mean we're more or less a digital tech platform in the background that helps um you guys as agents become more transparent and open about that process and yeah the intent is to improve the industry efficiency, uh, cost of everyone, and the views and opinions of, of agents as well. So thanks right. again for jumping on board. Really appreciate it. Pleasure. And thanks for being a part of the podcast today. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks. Cheers.